Yo, welcome back to the garage, everybody. The garage. I feel like every time we redo a space in our house and it's new, uh -huh. all I want to do is spend time in that new space. I know, that's how I feel about this space. If y'all are new around here, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Nicholas, which, by the way, that's my first name, so going by that these days. If you guys missed our last video, you might not know this, but we're just getting started on a new van build. This van build is actually not a van build of our own van, but it is the Moon Van in collaboration with MoonFab, and it's going to be a van for the people, a van for you guys. So, so instead of spending a bunch of time talking all about it every single episode, if you're interested in you or someone you know potentially taking this van we're gonna be building out on the road and experiencing van life, you can go into the description box and you can actually apply to take this van out right now. Hell yeah. Also, this video and this entire project is sponsored by Moonfab. They make some badass shades mm -hmm. that will keep us dry, cool, in the shade, right. free from, you know, harmful UV rays. Protected from the elements in general. Protected from the elements in general as we do this build. We've used this shade in literally dozens of different countries and have enjoyed it all the way from the top of North America to the bottom of South America. We couldn't endorse it more. And if you want to support a great company that is doing some amazing stuff and you want a badass shade, you can check them out in the description box as well. Okay, so week two, week how two. are we feeling? Well, let's talk about kind of what we wanted to accomplish this week. Right. We want to get this van to like a pretty box where we can start building stuff. And in order to do that, we need to get new subflooring in there. Mm -hmm. We need to get new walls up. We need to get the framing on before we can even get the walls up. And that also means we need to do the wiring. That also means we need to do the wiring. We want the wiring to be hidden away. Exactly. So that's, I'd say, like four big tasks. That's quite a bit of work. So I think the first thing that I want to do is the subflooring. Yeah. We need to remove the subflooring that's currently in the sprinter and put a new one in. So let's get to it. All right, we've got the end piece off. So this oh, subflooring nice. is like infamous in van conversion spaces for being ah. super unpredictable and hard to know if it's gonna be easy or hard to get up. Sometimes, like the last time, if you remember, babe, Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The last sand build, we worked so freaking long trying to get this subflooring up. I don't want to jinx anything. I'm hoping that is not going to be the case with this van. Since this subfloor is in prime condition, we are going to be using it as a template for our thicker subfloor. And I really, like we debated just keeping this in because it's so prime, but this subfloor is like extremely, extremely thin and it's just on support. So I think it would bow with all the weight we're putting mm -hmm. in it. Well. <laughs> All right, all right, not even gonna say a word. I'm not gonna be excited or impressed or anything. Hell yeah! Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I love impact drivers. I'm gonna go all NASCAR driver on this. All you right, ready? do it, baby. Let's see how fast we can do it. Woo! Woo. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, my cockiness is toning down. I'm <laughs> learning some respect for the difficulty that this might provide. I'm very interested to see how you're going to use a hammer. What? Is this like the old trick how you like hit a, the top of a jar to get it out? Pretty much. If there's <laughs> any corrosion that's in there, I'm hoping to break uh. it up a little bit. Did my idea just work or what? I am so impressed. I know, you're out here throwing shade. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow, I like, babe, I'm so shocked right now. Yeah. Because like, I feel like the last time we built a van, this was a day, yeah, an entire least, day. Not, like, two. <laughs> that was literally like five minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. Hell yeah. Nice. We don't have any sawhorses, we forgot them a woes. So we're going with the stools today. This might tip, but it's really Better not tip. tip. <laughs> Alright, piece number one. Uh, 
I've been told to announce that it is dry fitting time. <laughs> <laughs> These pieces, if they go in like I think they're gonna go in. Be very satisfied. Oh, it's gonna be so satisfying. We should not jinx it. Yeah, we gotta get that strong in. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty satisfying. Hell that's oh, satisfying. <laughs> Yep. Oh, 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 yeah. That's worth a little celebration right there. That's a satisfying fit. Oh, yeah. So, the last step is we want to weatherproof these pieces front and back, top and bottom. Welcome to a little electrical sesh with Aubrey. So we're not doing the entire scope of the electrical, but before we put up the walls, we do have to run all of the wiring for all of the different electrical components scattered around the van. So I've come up with a really breakthrough idea for how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just basically write down all of the different components that we need to wire for, which size wiring we're going to be using for them, and then just tape it around the walls of the van so that I know exactly where to run a wire. Genius? Dun, da, da, da. First up, fridge, faucet, water pump, water pump switch, toilet. Yeah, she's got a fan. Ceiling fan. Got a couple outlets, some USB outlets. A few different lights all around the van. And some light switches. I think that's everything. But maybe I'll discover more along the way. That goes. There. Faucet goes there. Already got a fan, but I'm still gonna <laughs> label it. Toilet goes here. I'm gonna try to put the water pump back here, a little bit away from the kitchen. We're gonna have some lights here, some lights here, and some lights here. Don't forget about those light switches. Let's put that somewhere around here. And this one, probably around here. We're gonna have a pretty decent workspace, if I do say so. Probably have an outlet and a USB outlet. And let's put another outlet in the kitchen somewhere. All right, we got a little makeshift sticky notes. <laughs> all over the van. Now that Aubrey has very neatly and nicely organized where all the wiring is going, it's time to put the studs up. Maybe we goofed because now the studs are hidden behind like a Reflectix barrier. But the good <laughs> thing about Reflectix is you can feel exactly where to put the stud. <laughs> Before we put these walls up, we got a wire for everything. You guys saw me kind of label where everything is going to be going. And now, uh, we have our wire. So we can actually wire for these things. This wire is hefty. Our method of attack here is a staple gun, some staples, and zip ties. We're just going to basically staple these zip ties to these studs in various places and be able to thread the wires through the zip ties and keep them really securely in place. Now one fancy thing. Yeah, please. We didn't do this in our last build. Okay. But we, we've done a little bit more research. Right, you know? right. And so we actually have two different gauges of wires, two different wi sizes of wire. We got this guy, which is the hefty one. This is gonna be for things like our fridge, our outlet. And then we got this little guy, and this is gonna be more for our light, anything like our faucet or Toilet, the fan, yeah. water pump. Anything that takes a little bit less power. 14 gauge yeah. wire. I'm just gonna kind of map out where I want this wire to go so I have a plan. Um, we got our light switch here for the kitchen light. Yep. And then um, our lights up here, but we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna wire the water pump, which is gonna sit around here and wire to the battery bank, which is gonna be like right here. Right, a little short stretch of wire. 
Babe, can okay. I cinch these up all the way? I know, as satisfying as that would be right yeah, now. I love I'm it. holding myself back right now. I just want to not cinch them up all the way just in case we want to reuse any of them for other Oh, for other wires. But then at the end of all this, oh, imagine just tightening all of them. A satisfying at once. cinch sesh. Well, we've got all bunch of our wires right where the battery pack's gonna be. Yeah. Just all those little boys up. So many wires. But they're all organized. Look at these, look how everything's labeled. Yeah, very satisfying. Yeah, just, oh, so satisfying. You really did a good job with that. Thank you so much. Are you ready to start putting the walls up? Yeah, that's the last task here. That'll be the ceiling of the deal. This is gonna feel like a different van once the walls are up. Babe, are you ready to put all the zip ties tight? I am ready. There's so many zip ties screaming at me. <laughs> all right, ready? Satisfaction time. Ooh. <laughs> We didn't even mention this. This wire is fully insulated. Look at that insulation. So oh like, my gosh. We don't have to worry about this wire. Never gonna be wear and tear. Never gonna be wear and tear. Wow, load off my mind. Now, here's another load off my mind. Okay. So, we're trying to make templates for all these walls because there's, you know, just little nooks and crannies that we have right, to right, cut around. Uh -huh. And we're gonna use this brown paper that I have. I purchased just for like wrapping presents, but I right. just have a bunch of it. Imagine. Because we're, we're doing this in four feet sections, right? Right, right. Imagine this is four feet. Yeah. It's just like, how amazing would that and be? And I was like, no way. Can't, life, life isn't that good. It's four feet. It's four feet. Oh my gosh. The day just got better. Let's make some templates. have these three templates made and we're just gonna flip them for this side now for any of you who are wondering we're not just using these we're gonna be accurately measuring but there's so many tricky weird little angles in the sprinter van sometimes it's nice to just be able to bend your paper and get very precise also through the paper you can feel all of our studs and so if we have a really general idea of where the studs are and can just go in the middle of that it will make putting these walls up so much easier for when you can't see them or feel them after the walls <laughs> You guys have rightly complained in the past on this channel about us not having proper safety equipment. So guess what? We souped up and we're gonna see if we can make you happy. I got some safety goggles, safety headphones. Oh, I should have put these on. I'll put it over the headphones. And a safety mask. Ready to see the fit? Anxious. <laughs> <laughs> These cords are gonna be a little out of the way. So All right. Let's see, if, let's see if this is good enough to zip in. We might need to make holes for the cords. It's all looking really nice. It's looking nice. But we have a couple of tweaks. Gotta raise up the wheel well. So too yeah. snug. Well, too snug. We need a little bit more room for the wires to come out. And then this little hinge guy yep. needs some room. That's a no-go. To go home when the door closes. All right, well our first draft is good though. Let's just clean Pretty her up. Dang good. Nicholas is finishing cutting the walls. I'm gonna start working on the last project of wiring. These are the cords that are going to plug into our solar panels so that we can charge this whole thing. And I actually want to wire these behind the walls as well. So, you know, it's all nice and clean. Um, so we got our positive and negative, and I got these big long extenders to make them super long so that we have plenty of space because our solar panels are gonna be more towards the front of the van, but our electrical setup is gonna be more towards the back of the van, so we just gotta make it stretch.
How's it looking, my love? Looking good overall. Very good, very good. Woo! Look right. at that. Around the wheel well looks really good. And then a little piece of trim right there in the middle. I'll cover that up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I love this. And the, the grain's gonna be all going the same way. This is great. It looks awesome. Really, really good. The first side of the walls is done. It looks so beautiful. This seam will be so easy to cover up. Wow, look at these sturdy boys. <laughs> Babe, you know those like drywall patch things? Yeah. But if we get a bunch of them and just like put them across the seam, so it just is like so completely seamless. seamless. And then we do te wall texture. Pretty nice like idea, right? Pretty dang nice idea. <laughs> I think we got a winner. Boom, what a day. Let's what go, a what a day. week. Look who's behind us. I know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, imagine how many cool memories by how many cool different people are going to be made in this exact space. Dude, I know. I've just been thinking about that. I love it. Every time we're building, it's just so freaking cool that we're building it for other people who get to enjoy it. Application is to take this van out is actually already open. So if you go down to the description box, you can apply to take this here van out on the road for a period of time once all this COVID stuff is done. So go see all the details in the description box. If you guys want to keep up with this build on the reg, on a yeah. daily basis right. rather than just a weekly basis. If once a week isn't enough to scratch that itch. <laughs> then keep up with us on Instagram at Moon Fabrications Instagram, keeping you updated on the daily. Thanks for coming along with us. We've got a big week ahead next week. All sorts of fun stuff. Basically, this box is gonna look nice and neat and tidy, like a new home to move into before we build all the furniture. Woo. So it's gonna be a big week. It is gonna be a big week. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.